Hey guys, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Hope you're going really well today. Just calling in to, to say hi first and foremost and also let you know that your end of year tarot reading is now live up here on YouTube, which will give you some idea as to how the energies across November and December could play out for you uh, as this crazy old year does come to an end. Uh, also, the doors are always open to the initiation, my immersive learn tarot journey. Uh, that is always the first link down below and when you click that link you go to a page that tells you um, all the ins and outs of it and if you do join up you get immediate access to all the videos, online learning modules and practices that will tell you everything you need to know to begin reading um, the cards intuitively today. Uh, also you'll find my social links down below and the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. Still got spaces and able to deliver them pretty quickly to you so if you want to arrange a personal reading or healing um, you'll find that down there as well. So guys I'm going to wrap it up here and I'm going to wish you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Do take care. Let's head across to your reading now. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading for December 13th to the 19th. Let's see what is on the cards for you potentially this week. We've got a nine card block, three recent past, three current or focus energy, three for the near future outcome, a couple of oracle cards and a lead tarot energy. Just before I jump in Taurus, I just wanted to let you know about my friend Darren's channel. He runs the PNW Tarot channel here on YouTube. Um, he's a great reader and he's also really entertaining. So you might want to Jump over and show him some love over at P&W Tarot. Okay, let's jump in. You've got a couple of beautiful cards shining out at me here, but of course we've got a little bit of challenge energy up here. So we will go to the tarot in a sec, but let's start with the oracles. The first one out was don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in Capricorn? So this is the energy maybe of... Um, you know, keeping ourselves small, of, you know, conforming to things we don't want to, of not being, uh, you know, unapologetically all of who we are, not being completely self-expressed. So there might be a way that you are, you know, pulling your energy in too much and it's really just time for you to be you. That's the message of that card. Now the next card here is the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, Taurus. Intuitive Hits and Soul Tribe. So this is really an energy of, you know, trust in the divine plan and understand that what is for us won't miss us. And ultimately, you know, the universe does put in our path the, the people, the situations and events that are meant for us. However, we do need to to move towards them, accept them, engage with them. Otherwise we can we can miss them. But generally it'll come back around, okay, until we until we do. So it says it's coming together. You might be getting intuitions. There might be new people, new people entering your life here. Now the lead tarot energy here is the two of swords. So this is a crossroads energy. I do feel that you are at a crossroads or you have been in your life. You might be weighing up options, you might be weighing up like a stay and go situation in a relationship. Um, you know, you might be weighing up, you know, a direction, a, a move, some kind of life change here is what I'm feeling. With the Two of Swords, the, the message is to not let your emotions cloud you when you're really trying to make a life decision. Choose from your fact, logic, but also that intuition, okay, because you're getting those intuitive hits. So that's what I see with those cards there. So let's jump on in here, Taurus. Okay, um, in the recent past year, I've got the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, you have been on a journey to find your happiness, to find your deeper wish fulfillment here. You may have left a situation in the recent past because it wasn't living up to your expectations. It could have been a relationship that you've taken time out from or that you've left. Um, you know, it could be in other contexts as well. Obviously, with all the cups in this reading, I am feeling more personal partnerships, um, whether it's or professional or personal partnerships here. In the Eight of Cups, there's this awakening to the fact that there is a fundamental piece in my life that is missing. And in order to, to, to get that, I need to follow my intuition, turn my back on some things, and keep on moving. 
So I feel that that is the, the, the process or the journey that you've been on. And we can see that that missing piece is in your reading here with the Ace of Cups at the end. But with the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here, I feel that you maybe held on or maybe you're still holding on for quite a while to whatever it is that you did need to move on from. And the Seven of Swords can be an energy of betrayal, deceit or or self-sabotage. So it could be saying that by holding on and not moving on, not transitioning on from that situation, literally, you know, you're betraying yourself or, or sabotaging the potential for, for happiness and new opportunities coming in. It could be that, you know, the situation that you are that you're wanting to move on from or you have moved on from you know, actually did have undercurrents or you might have been dealing with a dishonest person, dishonest person, jealous person, possessive person, all of those kinds of energies. Intuitively, you have known it, but it was the comfort zone for you, for pentacles, you know, and it, it can be really difficult to leave because of the fear of, of being alone, of maybe loss of finances and stability and home and that kind of thing. So I felt like you held on for some time, but I feel that you, you are meant to transition on um, and maybe you have already because current focus energy this week is the sun, temperance and the two of cups. So I feel that there is a there is some kind of like new partnership uh, energy going on here. For some of you, there is a, a repair of partnership. And, and if so, you know, obviously there needs to be transformation. Otherwise, it will pick up and be the same as, as what you have experienced in the past. But for others of you, I feel like there is a new guided love coming in for you. We've got the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, the Sun. And maybe this is the person that helps you overcome that big obstacle that you were facing. And that obstacle could have been that you may have been in a situation before where you couldn't be yourself. You had to dim your light. Um, that you just couldn't fulfill the whole picture with, that you had different values, that kind of thing. So that's what I feel the sun is. And the sun also says, Taurus, that you are entering into a, a much brighter, happier, more positive um, situation and chapter of your life. And there is a sense of, of rebirth here. And that person, that just that person that you need, coming in at the right time for you whether I'm feeling this is more love guys rather than in a, in, a, in, a, in a business context here I've got strong Leo energy you can see the Leo line here you can see the the card of Leo here as well with temperance at the at the middle here I could say that this is the connection that is going to help you heal from what you've been through in the past okay and it's going to help you find your way um, and really step into that positive chapter. It's kind of like they hold just the right ingredients that you need to balance yourself. But essentially, you know, you're coming together as two holes, not as two halves. But you still have that perfect combination and balance between you is what I'm feeling. Um, with temperance here, obviously it's Sagittarian energy. It could be a Sagittarius. We are in Sagittarius season. So this could be indicative that this is going to happen in December sometime. And that you're going to come together in, in divine union karmic contract with some kind of twin flame or soulmate energy. So that's what I'm seeing in these cards here, guys. Down the bottom, I have got near future outcome, ten of wands, six of cups, and ace of cups. I'm actually seeing that ten of wands as the final release of some kind of stress, tension, or burden. And it could be, you know the final release of some of the trauma from the past situation, finally you are able to, to let that go and, and receive like growth and joy and love and abundance in that way into your life. So I don't feel this is an ending. I feel that, you know, maybe for most of you, it is that final release of the stress. But I mean, coming back to the Two of Swords, some of you are still at that crossroads. And if so, then there could be some final pieces that you need to tie up, you know, from this past situation before you can embrace the new of this. So we have Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, and this is an energy of a love or a connection that has the ability to transform your life for the better. One where you can actually grow and move towards a deep sense of like harmony and balance something that finally fills you up. And I just always see that when these two cards come out, come out together, the Eight of Cups 
with the Ace of Cups, it's just that piece that you were looking for, right? Just that piece that you didn't have in the past is here in this situation. So let's grab another one, Taurus. I have got Serenity. This is the Hermit energy, guys, but it is called Serenity in this deck, so I feel like this is a serene connection, but it's also the connection that is going to help you heal. Again, it's an energy of healing and reflection. It is about finding your way as well. Um, so I feel that there is also like a spiritual quality to this new connection. So maybe that's what you were missing in that past one and you had to dim that part of yourself, really put you at the crossroads and eventually it was like, well, you know, I need that in my life. I'm transitioning on till I find it. And there, here we have that quality that you found in this person here. So Taurus, I hope this is your reading. If you are looking for someone to enter your life that will fill that gap for you. Um, looks like some beautiful cards here. So do keep in mind though it's a general reading for the collective and because of that it's it's not going to resonate for all of you and it's not meant to every time. Do drop me a comment and let me know though. Um, I really enjoy reading them and replying to them and getting to know you guys over there. And you can also hit the subscribe button if you want to know when I upload new videos guys. That's a good way to support the channel as is liking, sharing and commenting. And I am wishing you much love and magic for your week ahead. Do take care. Bye for now.